diffusion of a molecule in a gas. A molecule in a gas is free to move in three dimensions. Let S denote its displacement uh, between successive collisions with other molecules. The displacements of the molecule between successive collisions are to fair approximation statistically independent. Furthermore, since there is no preferred direction in space, a molecule is as likely to move in a given direction as in the opposite direction. Thus, its mean displacement S bar is zero. Each component of its displacement vanishes on the average so that X, Y and Z component mean values are also zero. The total displacement of the molecule after N, capital N, successive displacements can be written as the sum over i 1 to n si, where si denotes the i displacement of the molecule. So um, the total displacement r is sum i from 1 to n s sub i. The molecule is has a mean value for each displacement uh, zero, and uh, we're basically going to use the reasoning similar to that of section two point five to answer the following questions: What is the displacement capital R bar of the molecule after capital N displacements? What is the standard deviation of this displacement after capital N collisions? In particular, what is delta tilde R if the magnitude of each displacement has uh, the same length L? Okay, so uh, let's start with part A. So we would like to know what is capital R bar. So we have R is equal to the total displacement, sum of the displacements from 1 to capital N SI bar. And if you take uh, the average value of this, uh, for each component, you can write the same thing. But basically, uh, the average value of this is going to give us R bar is equal to I equals 1 to N. S i bar and we will have for the displacement s1 uh, bar s2 bar equals to s n bar s bar which is zero the, because the molecule is equally likely to move in one direction and in the opposite direction so basically probability of moving in the positive direction is one half probability of moving in the negative direction is one half. So let's call this probability P, this probability Q. Okay, so since each displacement uh, has a mean value S bar is equal to zero, uh, capital R bar, which is N times S bar, because uh, the displacements SIs are statistically independent, And uh, therefore, we can write capital R bar, the mean value of the total displacement, should also be zero. Uh, for B, uh, we can write uh, the standard deviation of R is by definition square root of delta r uh, square bar and for uh, delta r square bar uh, we can write uh, the sum uh, the uh, n, capital n times delta s square bar so as we have shown in the previous problems uh, when the these displacements are statistically independent so uh, I already know that uh, in order to calculate delta s square bar, I need s square bar minus s bar squared. And s bar 
is because each displacement has magnitude L plus L magnitude with probability P over 2 or minus L uh, with probability 1 over 2 plus L with probability P and minus L with probability Q which is L over 2 minus L over 2 it is 0 so we already know that S bar is 0 now we have to calculate S square bar S square bar is L square with probability P and minus L square with probability Q so this will be L squared over 2 plus L squared over 2 which is L squared so for the uh, variance or dispersion of S we have uh, L square minus 0 which is L square so we can write the dispersion of capital R as capital N times L squared so a uh, standard deviation of uh, R will be square root of uh, the variance delta R square bar which is uh, going to give us for the standard deviation of R uh, L square root N Okay, so uh, we found the standard deviation after capital N collisions uh, for the total displacement to be L times square root capital M. So we're talking about a molecule in a gas that is free to move in three dimensions. And we note uh, S vector this denotes its displacement between successive collisions with other molecules. Uh, these... Uh, Displacements are statistically independent, there is no preferred direction, so probability of the electron moving in a given direction is equal to the probability of moving in the opposite direction. So if it's moving in the plus direction, so let's consider this uh, S vector, displacement vector, let's call this plus direction, then it can also move in the minus direction with the same uh, magnitude the probability uh, for it to move in the plus direction is one half p and probability of it moving in the minus direction is also one half so that the mean value of the displacement is zero and all the components also have a mean value of zero the total displacement is some of the individual displacements which are repeated capital N times successive displacements so what is the mean value of capital R after uh, capital N displacements well since it's the sum i equals 1 to n of individual displacements between successive collisions and each displacement has a mean value of 0 uh, the total displacement will also have a mean value of 0 and the standard deviation of the total displacement R is n times uh, is basically given by square root of the variance and the variance of r is n times uh, the variance of s so uh, the variance of s is s square bar minus s bar square so s bar was mentioned to be zero in the problem well it is zero because you can have a magnitude l, uh, l for each displacement positive direction l over two uh, probability is one half and negative direction minus l over two so you have for s bar uh, basically all possible values s uh, possible values are plus l and minus l with probabilities assigned probability is one over two so the mean value is zero as for the s square bar we have the possible values l square and minus l parentheses square with probability p and q which are one half so we get s square bar to be l square so the variance of s is l square minus zero so this is s square bar minus s bar square that's what we're doing here that is l square so the, uh, for the variance of r we have capital n times the variance of s 
Uh, and to standard to get the standard deviation, we need a square root of this answer, which is L times square root of n.